Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the QD versus the QDA. Uh, sensing some confusion about the two, so I thought I would do a video and explain. Most of the product's descriptions are available on the website, so if you want to understand the product, just you know, read the text on each product on the website. Most of the information I think that you'll need to make a decision is there. But let's go over some of the highlights of both the QD and the QDA. The QD stands for quadratic dif diffuser. It's a straight quadratic diffuser. There's no absorption. Based on prime numbers, 7, 11, 13, 17, 23, you can read about all that on the website. Both the QDA and the QD offer those. I don't know if we offer it in the 7 for the uh, QDA series, but you can check the website and refer to it. The frequency response, obviously the higher the prime number, the lower response. So you start at a lower frequency range. It doesn't vary drastically, but it can between a 7 and a 23. But remember from past videos that what prime number you use is based on usage and distance from the diffuser to your ears. Because we're trying to create enough distance for the lowest octave band of the diffuser to fully form. So we need distance for that. We can help you calculate that. The QD series has bases. Inside the bases is the ACDA12 technology, which is our big sponge, 30 to 50 cycles, okay? Walnut, maple, cherry are your uh, wood choices. Custom uh, woods are also available, but the cost is gonna be prohibitive on most of those, especially with the way things are going today. QDA, quadratic diaphragmatic absorber. So the big difference between the QD and the QDA is that inside the QDA, we have our ACDA10 and our ACDA12 technology. So we have 30 to 300 inside the diaphragmatic absorber, because if you look inside a diaphragmatic or a, a quadratic diffuser, it's a series of wells. Well, they have depth. So we strengthen the density of each of the wells that are deep enough to support diaphragmatic absorption. So we get this broadband absorber behind the, the uh, diffuser. And then we have the QDA base, which is 30 to 50 Hertz. So we get both of our technologies and diffusion in one product. I mean, it's an incredible product, very difficult to build by hand. That's why they're so expensive, but they're beautiful when they're all done. Everything's on casters, wood bases. When would you use the QD and when would you use the QDA? Well, the QDA has low frequency management built into it. So if that location in your room also needs low frequency management, which 90% of the time it does, then you can use the QDA series. Because if you took our ACDA 10 unit, just Let's, or carbon panel, which is 12 inches. And then you add a diffuser in front of it, let's say a 13, that's 12, I mean, you're 24 inches. Here, with the QDA, you can get the same performance in 13. So it's a big savings in space. And therefore, you know, cost is, is equivalent to that savings. So the QDA, we're gonna use low frequency management and diffusion all in one product. You just can't beat the performance. It takes up le way less space and gives you the same performance as two units. Space availability is always the issue. Modules are available for both the QDA and the QDA series. So I hope these uh, breakdowns help a little bit. The QD versus the QDA. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.